Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Pravian Firewood, coming to you live on Sunday, March 3rd, 2024. Zach Cowboy, Cowboy Zach's 40th birthday. If you're watching Zach, happy birthday. Also Jack, Log Cabin Firewood, it's his birthday too. Happy birthday to you, Jack. Hopefully you stop by during the live stream. Today's In today's live stream, we're gonna head back Back into the neighbor's woods here where there's hung up. There's G Boz. Gotta say hi, old G Boz. He's up in Canada. Hi. It's probably about 50 below up there. <laughs> here it's 50 degrees. So far. Colleen. Hi, hope Colleen. It, you ever talk to her? Oh, yeah, once in a while. Okay. Well, well. Yeah, a cow and dog scout. Yeah. And yeah. So we're gonna go. Yeah, we're going into the woods, Matthew. We're gonna go cut. This should be also uh, restream to. Uh, to Facebook, Bill Bill Moon's doing that for me, of uh, backspin graphics. He's who made this uh, this hybrid hoodie I'm wearing with uh, firewood at the furnace. Brad, I talked to him. He's at church, but he'll be getting out at 10:30, and uh, he'll catch the end of the the show. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna fill this trailer up, trailer up with the the black locust. We're gonna go dump it. I might give a, we'll give some to uh, to James. We got to deliver two Joe cords. And look at, check out this. Speaking of Joe cords, where'd you get this at, Mike? This is too nice. It's almost too nice. But you like James, don't you? I told you to get, bring him a good load. But look at this. Mike did this this on Wednesday after we did that, you know, deliver or did the, did that job on Wednesday, wasn't it? Yeah. It was that day. You did it then. I you cut it up. I go, there ain't no way you're going to cut it. He cut it up and then split it on Thursday. And then we did another job. But look how nice this is, a Joe cord of all ash in here. I know the haters are gonna say, Mike, that's not solid, that's rotten, it don't have bark. I threw in a couple pieces in here that was uh, covering a, a, a tarp that I had. Yeah. Mike's got some uh, envelopes to load, oh load, open. <laughs> open. <laughs> but check out this load and his, you know, I, Mike, I almost thought about, you know, putting your sideboards in, we could put my load right on top of it and do it in one load. But the, the thing about unloading it is you, only one person can do it. You know, this ain't a dump bed. So you'd have to climb, only one person could climb up in there and throw it out. That's what kind of sucks. But, it, but it'd be great for delivering logs to me, you know, if you brought me logs. That's the only time I almost put them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't make sense for delivering firewood, you know that way Take so we so we can we can stack it in here you know if we want uh you, you can do it that way but yeah mike's got to put a couple stickers on but we're about three minutes in i told my buddy norm to to join us he likes uh, watching auditors but uh, uh he, he's he's been watching my live streams lately but he don't chat so hey mike uh, i guess uh go ahead and open up the first one which one are you can do first it's gonna do uh that's from paul Paul Wagner, he, he, you'll see him here on YouTube. Now I can only see your, your chat here on YouTube. Bill will see the Facebook chat. So don't let that blow away. We don't want to be littering. Make sure you get everything out of it. Oh, what do you got? I did that. Uh, who is that? <laughs> Look at that. Keep those, keep those, maybe put one on, uh, I put, you know. I put one put, on the gas tank. Put one on your gas tank. You know, put one, can you put one on here? You should put them on this. Both, both. both of them. <laughs> you got a spot? Put them. You want to do it right now? Yeah. Okay. And then and then we'll and then he's got what one? Did he send you two of those or one? So one will go on your splitter. You'll do that later. There's time man. Hey time. Hey, I wore this hat for time man. Are we gonna beat you guys today? I can't wait for basketball season to get over. And I know football season's gonna be rough, but. Can I get a gold blue from you, Ty Man? There you go. There's one. <laughs> and then uh, I know if Norm's watching, he's probably mad about that. There you go. <laughs> All right. Now where are you gonna put him? Where are you gonna put Paul on you? Oh, and did you gas up your saws? The saws gassed up. That's not how you spell blue, Ty Man. All right. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Paul said he'd be here, but if he's late, you know, he's one that harps on me about being being on time, starting at 10 a.m. 
Now here, put leave. Don't want that blowing off. So we'll throw. I'll throw this in the cab. I see. Yeah, I see the spring on your gas caps broke too. <clears throat> Carl Lewis said, "Mike's the man with the plan." Boy, it, it kind of left a gap in there, but you know, well, you'll I find a smaller ones that can fit in there. Yeah. You can do that. So there's, there's, there's yours, Paul. You're on here. <laughs> Here, put, uh, we'll put Brad on the other side. First, you got to open that one up. Yeah. Well, Brad won't see it because he's at church. Yeah, he's at church. Oh, he Paul, Paul said it looks good. You don't, you don't need your knife for that. I wonder if he wrote a note in there. Tell yeah. Mike to stop playing games. He did. <laughs> That's not that right there. Okay. See what, see what, show him. Oh, he's got both styles in here. We don't want them blowing away. It's kind of windy, you know. I'll hold on to it. Yeah. I'll show them. There, there's what we got from. Hey, there he is. <laughs> I hope you guys are well. Here's some stickers for Mike's new truck and splitter. I also put a couple, a limited edition stickers left over from the fellowship. There. Oh. Uh, only a hundred of them in the in existence. Hope you like them. Oh, okay, right here. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, uh, yeah, I know it. Uh, my hands are full, Mike. There. Uh, I'll, you take one of those, the fellowship ones, and uh, put the put 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 that one put that one on the on the truck. And then I'll put I'll put one on uh, I don't know on the ultra or whatever. So save these for later. Yeah, these for later. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, so oh, here's put them right above me. Okay, put that one on 362. On no, you can't. You can't. Put but put that but put that one on the truck. Oh, so he's gonna put one on the th oh on the 362, huh? Okay. Here we go. Put them over by me and Chuck. Jack yeah, Jack and Jack's birthday today. Put Jack right next to Brad. Okay, once Jack sends it. Okay. Here, Mike, I'm gonna have you hold on to these for me now. I'll put them in the truck. I'll get them. I'll get them here in a minute. I don't want them blowing out of the quad. Okay, you gonna put on the 362, huh? The 660's gonna just stay clean. There you go. There you go, Brad. There you go, Brad. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> All right, brother, you ready to go to work? Oh, yeah. Game time's over. I got one in now. <laughs> Gases in both of them. We're gonna head in the woods and cut some black locusts. I'll let you drive the co the quad. I will follow behind you. Do my job as cameraman. Get this on here, good and tight, so it don't fall off. Hopefully, you can. <sighs> Where in the microphone? I'm assuming you can hear me good. Let's get some locusts, folks. Going to work. We're just gonna get one quad trailer load. My very good customer, James, texted me last night, said he needs two more loads to get him through the rest of the winter. So it's, I, it, this was just gonna be me. Then I said, well, hey, Mike, why don't you, uh, why don't you bring me a load? You having problems? I'm talking to the people. And so, uh, yeah, I said, hey, Mike, why don't you come over tomorrow, bring that load of ash you got. We'll deliver that to James and then we'll load me up. But uh, we're gonna split some of that. We've already got my truck partially loaded. There's, a, there's where the tree we cut yesterday was, or uh, Wednesday when it was snowing. Now it's 50 degrees. <sighs> We're gonna we're gonna cheat. We're gonna unhook this uh, splitter our trailer. Oh, he's gonna turn it around here, and then then back in there, because the the locust is over here on the ground. This little stuff. He if he backs in and starts cutting this, and Billy Otis, it must be time for a union break. There's Brandy, black locust all dry on the ground. Here he comes. Oh, maybe not. Okay, he unhooked it. Don't forget your saws. 
but you got this on the ground. There's, a, I think that's just one tree right here that splits into two. Just right there for one quad trailer load, that's enough to fit, uh, fill it. And they, I think there's some cherry there, but uh, oh, he's gonna. So he's just gonna push the trailer back. Can you do it, Mike? You need my help. Them saws make it hard. It's hard, it's hard to move around in here. Hey, there's Jeremiah. You ever talk to Jeremiah? Yeah. You can get one of his 608 stickers to put on your... Uh, well, Bill Moon's going to get you that because he makes them. Okay. That's good right right there, Mike. We, once we get going, I'll go, I'll go get the quad and back it up in here. I'll let you get started and we'll uh, set it up. So, uh, And then when I, you'll get some cut up for me, I'll come back and I'll start loading it. This one will be easy to do because it's off the ground. We'll start right there. A dang sun going into the sun. All right, 362. Yeah, I'll have to bring the quad over here. So, hey, Rogala. See how long it'll take us to cut a quad trailer load. Not playing today. And there's a hard maple tree and then there's a hackberry right there that he's in between. Mike's the man with the plan. But look at look at all the all them trees we got to get yet. We got to do it before they hit my heart. He sells the property. I'll wait till he gets that that cut up and gets started on this end. And then, uh, then I'll go get it. Cause I think I think he gets that all cut up. We, we, we got a quad trailer load. Oh, got these little trees that took out his glasses again. He needs to, he needs new glasses bad. Only one of the 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 legs work on it. Or legs or whatever. The arches that go over your ears that holds it onto your head. Black locust, one of the best woods there is. I got a customer already interested. He said around March 15th, he'll be ready. Gonna finish the cut there. He's gonna have to cut that cherry out of his way. Cut that chip. <laughs> all, right. all right, we'll get that. We're eventually, we're going to have to get that cherry out of the way, Mike. Huh? We're going to have to get that cherry out of the way eventually. Can you just flip it? It's pretty, it's pretty roach. It's going to all crumble. Maybe you can just flip it. Remember, he's a bull ox, folks. Look at that bull ox! There you go. That's good enough for now. Hell, that looks like a locust right there. I'm gonna go get the quad right now. Go ahead and cut that, I'll get the quad. Then, then come up here and get this. Be right back, folks. I'll be right back. Cut some limbwood for James. I'll be right back.
Been waiting 10 years to get this wood. Or actually 12. Start loading. Gotta do something, folks. I gotta do something. It's the closest I can get for now. Oh, right by the road. Oh, that chain's loose. Load her up. I'm gonna stack it in here. Get a good load. Better put my hearing protection on. I'm getting pretty close to him. That that, that that's changed, so I ain't quiet. Norm thinks I talk. My friend Norm thinks I talk loud and things so wrong. You know, Mike's the one that probably should be wearing the hearing protection, but his body, his choice. His body, his choice, folks. I ain't his daddy. Yeah, this stuff's been on the ground for 10 years. All right, it's been on the ground since I've been out here. And probably years before that. Probably years, years. That's good, Mike. Now we'll get that. Uh, look how solid this locust is. Locust doesn't rot. And it burns hot. I gotta go back to my job as cameraman. Yeah, get him some of that limwood, Mike. That's probably far enough, right there. We'll save that. We'll save the rest of it for my mom. Make sure you smash that like, folks. Got 38 watching. That's that's good. Going right through it. Going right through it. Trying to get this set up so we both can work. Once it gets done, we're going to crash it and then uh, I'll put it, set it down. Am 
Like know what he's doing, folks? Can you tell he's cut wood before? Good spot for that, Mike. Black locust. Sorry about the shaking. I'm just trying to get around. Oh yeah. Get a good spot. Might be taking this hoodie off soon, Brad. Pretty warm out. In the low 50s, you start doing this hard work, you work up a sweat quick. Not sure when Colleen's gonna send us some more cold weather. This is work, Norma Grimmer. The wind's starting to pick up. Getting our Chinook winds. The thing that does suck about coming into a new woods and cutting, you gotta make roads. I think I'm probably gonna have to take this elm tree down next time we get in here farther. Cause there's probably another out, oh, seven or eight quad trailer loads in there. And all this is dry too, ready to burn. So I gotta I got a piece of mine. Now I could, what I could do is throw these over there too. And then just pick them up instead of walking back and forth. Because these are small enough to throw. At least the ones that aren't. That was about the time for a hater to tell me I'm lazy. Yeah, Mike needs some suspenders. Says he's losing weight. I don't think it's coming off his barrel though. He's losing for someone from somewhere. Gets that log cut. We're gonna start loading it. We'll go dump it. And we'll go fire up the splitter. Start splitting. We got a Joe cord in my truck.
if you're wondering, Mike's using his 362 today. He just got it fully paid for from my brother. He worked it off. I paid I paid for it, paid my brother for it, then he worked it off with me. Yeah, he might do a few more. The log's kind of in the ground. He's probably gonna want to like hook it up to the chain. We'll do it some other time. Hook it up to the chain and pull it out of the ground. So we can cut it without hitting the dirt. Now without that, uh, without the ultra, two weeks without the ultra, you guys been seeing, uh, getting a lot of chainsaw videos lately. A lot of chainsaw content. You know, this is fourth day this week, Mike worked together. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. All paying jobs, too. You know, leave it like that and dig it out later. Let's, let's load it up and see what we got, Mike. See if we have to cut any more. Huh? Yeah, we can cut it, cut it up. Yeah, yeah, cut it a little bit more, but let's load it up. We might have enough right here. Oh, that one needs to be cut. That one needs to be cut still. Nice hackberry tree right there. So tell the bark. Got a very distinctive bark. I don't know what you think. Is this nice stuff, Mike, or is it junk? <laughs> is this nice or what? Yeah, yeah I know it. You gotta, you gotta clean this stuff out or you're risking tripping and falling. Mike's tossing them, then we'll go stack them. Uh. You liking that saw, Mike? Oh, yeah. When are you going to get a Husqvarna? Never. I'll run them, but I won't own them. Yeah, these bigger ones you can't really throw. I guess you can, it is downhill. I can I can up here, but there's so many little trees in the way. Uh, oh, Mike missed one, missed a cut. Uh, that's about to happen, folks. You can't see, you can't see, you know, what's laying on the ground from the tree. These, these bigger ones, they, they fill it up faster, but you know, the one we did the other day, that one yeah, was like 18 inches in diameter. You're not throwing them pieces. But yeah, some of this stuff needs to be cleaned up before we can get in here and move. I'm almost sick about taking down that, that elm tree right there, Mike. Oh, that's the new neighbors pulling in across the street. Hopefully it's somebody, the new neighbors or somebody just like John. No. Mike likes John. Mike visits him. Yeah, you, haven't, you wouldn't visit him? I hope he dies. I got two under, the, under there, I can't reach them. Yeah. 
Good thing this stuff's dry. Uh. Might be able to oh, about draft it. Yeah, I think the best thing to do would be take this elm out. It's a scrub tree anyway, you know. If we have to get back, we're gonna have to eventually to get back in there farther. And that elm tree out. We'll make a road right through here. When we gotta come back. We're pretty close to being full today. Once we get all these in. You might have to cut a little more off that one. I just don't want to have to walk at 30 yards, eat peace. <sighs> Got it? Okay. All right. yeah. yeah, I think you're going to have to cut a little more. Not much. Not much. You can get to it now, but yeah, I see why you didn't want to cut this because it's stuck in the ground. You know, maybe leave leave some of this limb, we could hook it up to it. If you cut the stump off, drag it out with a quad, some, but not today, but I think you can get some of that off there. I'll get these. We were on the last row, and then we put wood for my mom in there. Let's see how this looks, you know, maybe what we could do is cut that, that locust that's laying out in the yard. Do something like that, because there's only three pieces here. There's still plenty of room in there. I don't want to come out here for half a load. And it's pretty dry too. When we mix them with all this dry stuff, it'll be good. Much is left. One more. One more. I got it. All right. Yeah, you got to grab the saw anyway. All right. I guess you can go drive over. Don't forget your other saw. You can drive over. To that, to that pile. We'll just cut that up, put it in with this. Yeah, yeah then we'll have more than enough. I'm gonna put this, put this back in here. Let me take it. Let me take a quick union break while I'm over here. Take a sip of my drink. Yeah, this hood can come on. We start splitting. All right, Mike, go, go ahead. And, well, I'll walk behind you. But we got that cleaned off. You know, that stuff's buried. We gotta make another road out here. Clean some stuff up. All right. There we go, folks. That's good enough. We're, we're gonna we're gonna put some more in. There's a tree, uh, uh, I don't know, it's about eight foot long, laying out by Mike's truck and he'll just cut that up and that'll uh, finish out the tra the quad trailer load. I'm so glad I'm back here, Corey. Hey, Corey. We, how, how far are the Hawks gonna go? Caitlin Clark, who would you draft first in, M in a WNBA draft? Caitlin Clark or Angel Reese? You're just joining us. You didn't see the thumbnail. But Mike's got a, a load in his truck. Grab your saw. Put it. Right yeah, I know, I know. I know. If you, oh, you just want to leave him in here? No, you have to drive up there. Uh, or 
I'm gonna drive the quad. You're gonna drive your truck. So I say, grab your grab your saws. You're gonna need them. You're gonna have to move them later anyway. All right. Stacy's watching. We're going on a road trip, Stacy. Road trip. Look how nice that ash is he's got in there. Customer James gonna love it. Oh yeah, it's actually about 12 foot long. I think it's, you know, the guy's gonna order it for next year anyway. I think this will be good. All right, might grab what saw he wants. Head over and we're gonna cut this log up. I gotta get off here. Yeah, that'll fill it up, Mike. Easy, I didn't think it was this long. And I don't think it's green. Looks like it's been down a while. Yeah. Yeah, I need that trailer bad, Corey. Corey's got one of these he said he'd give to me. It's got the original frame and everything, tires. And there's a girl watching, her name's Brandy, Corey. He, she, I think she's in Iowa too. Not an easy job, folks, but somebody's got to do it. If it was easy,
Everybody cut their own if this is easy. Ain't that right? Wind's really kicking up. Chinook winds. Okay, I think that'll fill it up, Mike. Look at this, it's starting to peel off already. It's been on the ground, I don't know, for a while. Let's get it all in there. If we can get it all in. Missed one. It happens, folks. It happens. But I didn't put the saws away. Got them still. Starting the saw again. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it makes it, the chain down so fast, this locust, especially that, that petrified locust. Yeah, yeah. Still cutting, but it, it's, it's noticeably duller than when you started. Yeah, it's just gonna happen. It's gonna happen, Mike. You get them too? Hickory too, it's like cutting through nails. I cut an oak, that's no big deal. Yeah, oak, ash, yeah, maple. Now we got a quad trailer low, folks. Now we're not playing games. Wasn't gonna leave with a half a load. Wasn't gonna leave with a half a truck load, folks. A quad trailer load. We gotta get this out of here. Got to get it out. Now we got to go dump it and fire up the splitter and do some splitting. Yeah, we'll see. We'll find out, Mike. I'll follow you over there. Meet me down there where we're dumping this. What do you think? Think I should take another union break? Black locust. We'll follow him in his truck. There's Stacy. Stacy's here. Yeah. Now this drink's almost gone. Oh. Oh. Got time to wait for him. All right. I'll show you where we're taking this, folks. Once I put it in gear. Know where we're at now, folks? You know where we're at now? Hope you can tell where we're at now. I don't know, Bill. We think that sign faded yet? You put it in in 2013. Katie made it, but you, uh, Bill, built the frame. So I don't know. I think it might need to be replaced. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if it's time for Bill to make a new sign.
show you where we're we'll show you where we're putting it, folks. Look at all that hickory down there drying. Nice live stream today. This is a good one to watch, folks. No games were played. Look at all Hickory Haven. Hickory Haven. I gotta set you down so I can turn around. I need both hands. Both hands to turn this around. I tried to make it wide as I could. All right, Mike, we'll dump her right there. Some of that limbwood I was I was wanting to give to uh, give to uh, James, see how he likes locusts. He might want some of that next for next year. Uh, no camera crew, folks. Got to do it myself. Got to do it all. Sometimes I got to do it all. Get her unloaded. You can see what we got out there. See how nice that stuff is? This stuff's coming out just as nice. I'll leave that piece in for my mom. We'll just go throw it in that barrel up there by bay one. I'm parking there. Like this, you know, that stuff we just put in it could be a little wet. Uh, it'll burn. Yeah. The ash will make anything burn. Yeah. <laughs> Think it's dry? What's in your truck? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that tree was dead for how long? <laughs> Ten years. Finally <laughs> fell. Uprooted. Uprooted. Because the them Chinook winds that Colleen sent. You know she did too. She didn't give us the tornadoes. Yeah, to you know, no, the tornadoes don't come from those don't come from Saskatchewan, but they do get them. Yeah, I bet you Saskatchewan's had tornadoes before. Colleen will let us know. Wonder if Jack joined us yet. If he did, happy birthday, Jack! Yeah, happy birthday. If you see if you see log cabin firewood, if he's in the chat, wish him happy Some birthday. <sighs> Yeah, but we got to get like all the way down there. Like this stuff, we can while drive over there. We'll drive that. Hey, now that's the stuff I'm talking about too. There, that's enough for him. You, you, uh, you got a nice size load in your truck right now. Yeah. I told Mike to put in a little extra for him and. He sure did. He sure did. Yep, yeah, now I would say there's a at least a Joe cord here. At least a half cord here now. At least. Just right here. Yeah. At least a half cord. Yeah, okay. So we'll, yeah, told him uh, we'll give him a little extra. It's going to be his last time buying. We'll, we'll just put it in your truck, Mike, and then when we take it to him, we'll say, test this out and tell us how you like it. I'll pull up over there. Yeah. It's real cold. Put this in. Tell us what you think, how it burns.
find room in your truck for it. I gotta go get the camera. I'm gonna put it in your truck. Well, you want to put it in your truck? No, yours. That's why I said don't grab so much of it. Yeah. So that I don't want it thrown out. Because my truck's, you know, backed in position and I can't get to it, you know, where it's at right now. Yeah, you better get him then. Here, I'll get the camera. I'll let you get him in there safely. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna just give him a little free sample of this black locust. Say, James, tell us what you think black locust. Well, Mike's the one driving it, so he's gonna be the one determined if they're safely in there. Hey, there's Larry Clock. Say hi to Larry. Hi, Larry. <laughs> All right. Meet me up there, Mike. We've got time to do some splitting now. Splitting time. I haven't seen us just run the saws lately. I guess Mike's splitter. He's seen us use. That the job Mike and I did Friday, we, I took the boiler wood right, right to the customer, but we cut some uh, silver maple for summer campfire wood. See it, see it over there? Isn't that a pretty sight? All that wood stacked nice and neat. Look at that. in here see we got some some wood in my truck already I, I bought some of my brother's oak so we're gonna find out if we can get the splitter to start about to find that out you'll know what I'm talking about here in a second All right, I'll let Mike do the pulling at the beginning. The splitter, the splitter hasn't ran since I ran the gas out of it back, I think, in November or December. So, hopefully Mike don't run out of breath trying to pull it. But yep, Ted still has the Ted still has the uh, Ultra, so I had to fire up the Husky. I'm gonna have Mike. We're gonna try to get it started. If we can't get it started. We're pushing the Husky into there. We're just gonna load up from that stuff. But I, I wanna get this stuff out of the way. So, let's see, uh, let me uh, refresh Mike's memory on how to start it. Yeah, I'll get it so you can just start pulling. All right, we're gonna turn the throttle on, uh, uh, the fuel line. Throttle just stays in that, that position. I'm gonna turn the choke on. Start pulling. Pull until you run out of breath. Whoa! Ted's worked on it. How about that saw, surgeon? All right. Hold on, Mike. Don't move my truck. I'll uh, I'll back into there. I'm not gonna, we're not throwing it this far. I gotta move my truck. See, see I got some wood in there already. We'll let it warm up for a second. You wanna, should we, you wanna move that or, or do you want me to just back up into here? Rotate it. Ro rotate it.
This foot is a little bit slower. Yeah, dude, I don't think that's uh, Sazza. It did that last time. Got to work out the oil from us moving it. Yeah, Mike's getting aired out. I said, hold up and wait. No, I want to breathe this smoke in. I'm like, whatever. Tell me, tell me how far to go back before I got to stop, all right? Guide me in. That Chinook wind, I need to blow that. I need the head. Got this wheelbarrow. Actually, for uh, for bundle grade, I'm gonna put it back there. Do you like your splitter better or this one? Is that yours any faster? Better than swinging them all. Your kettle have has the other one fixed soon. Let's see. No, go ahead, hit it. I'm just uh, inspecting for bundle grade. I know there's some on the ground over there by the camera. And tell us what you think about this splitter. You like the ultra better. But you know what? One time Mike was using this splitter and Zach was using the Ultra and, and Mike almost beat him with this splitter. Remember that? Yeah, I had a bigger Yeah. I had a bigger truck. Yeah. That's why I had my little white board. Yep. Come on. That can just go in there. Bill's keeping the haters on Facebook in check. There you go, Mike. Instead of going, running it down on the long way, faster like that. Yeah, I'll just, if anybody watched, play with at the furthest latest video, 
it, his uh, his yard or his wood yard has a a ton of mud in it, but it's because of this debris, the debris from all, all the cutting and splitting he does there, turns into mulch and mush, mush. So he's got a big problem on hand. I think he was uh, thinking about laying down some stone. I haven't seen any uh, bundle grade yet. I think. Oh, King of Firewood? Yep. Did he wave at you? Yeah. That's a little bit slower. Kind of dark in there. I don't know. It's just, you know like you can see, uh, yeah, we're already at the one hour mark, so. Yeah, if we had the ultra, we'd be about done now. But the splitter, you know, makes a good backup. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, I want that one. Those two right there. Those two. Yeah, see, it's got these knots. Yeah, I'll let you just put that one. Well, I don't know, Bill's got his grandkids over, and so I don't know how much long he wants to uh, live stream rebroadcast, but I mean, there is 63 people watching right now. And I know uh, Jody's having surgery soon, so Bill might not be able to do this for a while, you know. Yeah, hey, Zuck. Hey, Zuck. I'm, guess what? I'm live on your platform, Zuck. There's ways around your trick, your tyranny. only way we're on Facebook and it might be for a year. I don't know. I, I, I look it up. It doesn't say anything about the only thing that says the only restriction I got is I can't change the name of any group I manage. That one looks good. We'll give, you, we'll give you like 15 minutes of, bit of bonus footage. But at 75 minute mark, we're just gonna stop so Bill can get, get back to uh, life. I mean, it's gonna take us another half hour if it, with this splitter to get this done. 15 minutes, uh, 20 minutes at least. My gives fast. I told him James we would be there between uh, noon and 1 p.m. This is the only one that was like a little bit questionable. People were saying this one's rotten. Hey, rotten. Because of that. Still looks solid to me. You know, they go, oh, it's rotten!
It's almost coming the time of year where we can make a bundle a lot. Yeah, we'll go ahead and split it. That one I think I need. Yeah, that one looks good. Bundle gray. So I'll take it back to my bundle area. This one's pretty good too, but I'm sure Mike can find me more, right? If not, I know I know what Phil can. I know I know people watching they want to get back to the Sunday activities. Plus the, the, the battery only can go about an hour and twenty minutes anyway. Put that stuff. Now this one, <laughs> that was damn near boiler wood. But I think you can get some good pieces out of it. This splitter won't get stuck. Yours might. This has the power. But his, yours is, is yours 37 or 35 ton? 37 ton, okay. No wonder why it's heavier to push. I think this is 35 ton. Might as well start split some of that. We'll give us some of that cherry. Oh, there's some elm. Oh, he'll have he'll have a nice mix. He's getting black locust, ash, cherry. There's a piece of uh, mulberry in my structure that I threw in there from my brother's stash. Yeah, I was just about ready to go split one there, Mike. How'd you do that? still 69 minutes in so about not five more minutes yeah my truck's still running Mike wasting gas didn't even know that my truck was still running Yeah, I know. I look, I'm like, why am I breathing exhaust fumes? You know, not from that. I look, I look out of the muffler. I've been sitting there for what? Seven minutes? Eight minutes? Idling? Let's get these out of the way. That cherry's definitely dry. I think we'll just leave the splitter out here. I'll cover it up with a tarp later. So if I have to do some splitting, I can still use the splitter. I want to get these uh, rounds. I want them out of the way, man. I'm sick of looking at them. This stuff is dry. Great, right, Mike? Oh, get, oh, can you keep, yeah, keep, keep getting that cherry. <laughs> Almost fell out. I think I'm going to grab this uh, funnel grate and move it, empty the wheelbarrow. Take this out back. A little ugly, but it'll still burn. James won't care. With the load you're bringing him, I don't think he's going to care. But that has some mushrooms on it. Oh. 
put this back over here. My bundle wood. Bundle season's over here, folks. Mike can handle the splitting by himself for a minute. Definitely bundle grade. watching Billy Otis. Well, that was some hickory. That was a piece of hickory. Is that the bottom of the pile? Nice weather, beautiful Sunday. Beautiful Sunday in Southwest Michigan, folks. Gonna be up in the 60s. Just join us. I'm going to show you what we got in Mike's truck. Real quick. Step it up. We got this in here. There's the hickory I was just talking to him about. Put that in there. Yeah, just keep working on that cherry, Mike. Be right back. He's got some of the nicest wood you ever did see. And it's all ash and it's solid and this is from a tree that got blown down in the storm that Colleen sent us. So this is both going to the same customer. I've lost track to how many times I delivered to them. Might be uh, eight or nine or nine or ten this year. So look at this. Look at this Corey. Look at that ash. Is that good and solid? And we put some black locusts. There's a mulberry. So that's a that's a, this guy's getting both of these because he's and he's we're giving him a little extra wood because he's been such a good customer and I'm sure he'll be ordering uh, next year. So I'm gonna go uh, help Mike. I know Bill probably wants to get back to work, get back to the kids. It's Sunday family day, so Jody needs his help. So I'm gonna wrap her up. Want to th thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for all the uh, all the thumbs up, uh, all the thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye, Mike.